Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Sally Poole. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Albany, Oregon. Welcome. And by the way, my YouTube channel is Get Crafty with Sally. Um, I am going to do something different today. I have never made a sampler before so this is my first um this is not all glued together yet i kind of wanted to show you a couple of steps to get to this point if you haven't done it before or you thought maybe there was an easier way i do need to interject for a moment and announce a card winner few weeks ago I did this simple stamping card and had a drawing and the winner is at Michelle Slater 5159 so Michelle if you will send me an email at dannydog75 at hotmail.com with your mailing address I will put this in the mail for you congratulations and thank you for leaving a comment so this video is probably going to be kind of willy-nilly. I had to raise my ring light stand that has my camera stand on it way up high so I could get this all in the camera. So I can't see the camera screen very well, so hopefully this won't go out of the recording screen um, during this video. I will put together a PDF. I have not done that yet. I think I'm going to take pictures of each square um, and I'll list the items that I used. I think everything I used on here is Stampin' Up! products except for these little snowflakes. They are actually... Um, and I can't believe I don't have any Stampin' Up! snowflakes. Um, I probably do, but I don't, don't know what set they're in. This is a My Favorite Things little die set. Very old. It's just called Sweet Snowflakes. Um, I'm sure they probably don't sell it anymore. Anyway, back to the PDF. It's probably going to take me a while to put it together. I will list everything I used, but I wanted to show you, and these are, um, I just stuck them down with removable adhesive so I could show you this process. And obviously um, there's no way to sit through uh, stamping and cutting and embossing and doing all that on a video it would take forever this took me several days it's not so bad you know once you figure out what you want to do um, it took me a while to figure out the different elements that I wanted to put on the squares and I have switched the squares around multiple times um, an interesting thing about these measurements you can move any of these squares wherever you want like you could move that switch those move it down here scoot it over there this could you know you see what i'm saying the sizes all work so you could pretty much do whatever you want so i'm going to lift these off of here and obviously that tape did not really do any kind of a job of sticking them down. So what I have for the base is just a piece of 12 by 12 basic white cardstock. And then I have just around the edge of that, I put a little bead of glue and 
I put down a piece of paper, well, it's actually vellum, from an old pack called Holiday's Fancy Foil Designer Vellum. You might remember that with the green trees, and I think it had like red and silver stripes, kind of candy cane-ish. And then on top of that, and you could just leave the white background if you wanted, I also added a little pool party border and the paper is from the new 12 by 12 pool party two-tone cardstock. Stampin' Up! is now doing two-tone cardstocks. Um, they're lighter on one side than they are on the other in the same shade of that color. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this edge is the frame, pool party frame, is cut at a half an inch. So again, another bead of glue on top of the vellum, and I, and I put that down. So here is the fun, tricky part to lining everything up. Because if you try to line your squares up and just buy your sight, try to get them straight. It's kind of hard. So I have this. Um, this is a piece of, you know, the paper on the DSP packs that says what kind of paper it is and all the colors in it and everything. That's what this is. And I just cut the center of it out and left an inch and a quarter frame. And if I had my post-it note tape that would help but you'll get the idea so since it's 12 by 12 it'll just fit right over what I've got going on here and if I had my post-it note tape I would probably tape that on here in a couple places maybe all four sides and I'm not going to permanently glue these pieces down on camera. Since this is my first sampler, I really want to take my time and get it straight. And it's hard for me to get above it with the camera there. So I will just show you how this is done. So now I've got my frame on there. And we're assuming that it's going to be held down pretty well if you've got some kind of tape. So you just take your first little sampler square and just butt that right up against those two edges. And then, of course, you would have adhesive or, I don't know if you wanna pop it up on dimensionals. Um, a lot of these are popped up anyway, but you could do that because it's gonna go in a shadow box and hopefully I will be able to get a decent picture of it finished and put in the shadow box so you can see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna slide this one in here, line it up against both of these edges. And then I'm gonna put my little tree down here in the corner, my ornaments here. You will have to, you know, kind of eye the spaces in between that to see that they're even, and that's not quite, but you get the idea. So now I'm going to take my little ornament guy Put it down here at the bottom. And then this will be the worst one to get straight, which is why I don't want to do this on camera. Because I am not at a good angle to do this. But like I said, you get the idea of what I am talking about here.
So that is how you line them up. And then you would just carefully take that white frame back off and um, put the sampler inside your shadow box and voila, you would be done. Hopefully that didn't make it sound too easy because like I said, this did take me a while to do. So if anybody has any questions about this, let me know, leave me a comment. I will post um, a link to the PDF down below this video in the description box. Hopefully I won't forget to put any of the information in there. Um, I hope that you'll give this a try. This is a 12 by 12, like I said. I haven't tried any other sizes. This is my first. All of this is done in pool party ink and pool party paper and basic white and silver foil. And then I also have some um, heat embossed silver on vellum and then I also colored the back of the vellum with my dark pool party stamp and blend so anyway if you're getting anything out of my videos um, hit the like button give me the thumbs up uh, share my video with your friends and families and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so it helps my channel grow I appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye.